Bariatric surgery can mean life-changing results to those who make the decision, and in some cases, it can mean a new life that previously had seemed impossible. Dr. Joseph Sabli from the Gulf Coast Medical Group is here to tell us about some patients who were not able to become parents and then a miracle happened. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, fill us in again. Remind us of what bariatric surgery is and what it entails. So it's commonly referred to as weight loss surgery. And we like to think mostly about the use of the surgery to cure problems that didn't look like they could be you know, improved, like mm -hmm. diabetes and lipid problems and fatty liver disease and heart disease and that sort of thing. So it is weight loss surgery, but we like to think about all those other great benefits, saving lives, extending life, improving life, and in this case, bringing life. Bringing life. life. <laughs> Tell us about Maggie and Jason, Jason uh, Lagrange. Now, when you first mm -hmm. met them, yeah, they're both wonderful people. You'll get to know them. But um, uh, they both had surgery with us. Uh, Maggie actually went first, as the woman's usually the more brave of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so Maggie went first, and she had surgery in 2015, and she had a gastric bypass surgery and has been amazingly successful. And then Jason went about nine months later and had a sleeve gastrectomy, different operation, and also has been incredibly successful. They both have lost in excess of 75% of their excess weight, wow. eliminated all their problems, and have this beautiful baby. Now, okay. they've been told they couldn't have a baby, right? They've been trying and trying. Well, I think they did. Maggie will tell you, but uh, they did have a, a miscarriage. And so, you know, we don't, in this area, get to talk too much about fertility, obesity, pregnancy, and bariatric surgery. but. You know, other areas where I've been where we've had a bit of a younger population, this has been a big effort. Uh, women who are uh, not able to conceive cannot become pregnant. The effects of the surgery are really metabolic and hormonal like we've talked about with diabetes. It's about insulin resistance often in, in women who are obese and, and have PCOS. And that goes away with surgery. And before even weight loss, they can become pregnant. So that's when we counsel people uh, in the office before surgery, young people, we have to remind them they have to take precautions because they don't think there's a chance they can get pregnant. Wow. And often we tell them they could get pregnant the day after surgery. Oh my that's, that's goodness. How, that's how the insulin, you know, the improvement of the insulin resistance wow. works. Wow. And that's what drives the infertility. Well, wow. let's meet them. Come on out, Maggie, Jason, LaGrange, and you've got to come introduce us to your new daughter. Oh, she is adorable. She Who is, is this young lady? This is Amelia. Amelia, how old is Amelia? Two and a half months. Two and a oh, half months. Congratulations. Oh, she is beautiful. Now, tell me your story. You had been trying to have a baby for a while. Yeah, we had a miscarriage back in May of 2012, and we tried fertility drugs, but it didn't work. And then we ended up, I ended up having the bypass surgery. He ended up having the sleeve, and September after he had the sleeve, I found out I was pregnant. Did oh. you? Did you anticipate this or were you going into the, the surgery for other purposes? Other purposes. I have an eight-year-old son from a previous relationship and I wanted to make sure that I could always be around mm -hmm. for him. My dad died when I was seven of a heart attack. Oh. Uh, five, sorry. Five. He was 37, so oh. I was really worried that my son would grow up without a mom. What and does it feel like to go through this huge life change together with, yeah. with your partner? It was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> like, to be able to do it, I mean, I had a whole new respect after I had the sleeve for what she went through because she had hers probably close to a year before oh. I had mine. And it, it takes work. You have to be committed, and it's, it's not really a walk in the park sometimes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but it changes all of your health numbers, it, doesn't it? It did, and it was, it's drastic. And going outside and walking around and everything else, it's amazing how different I feel. Um, you know, I'd go outside and walk around and be dripping in sweat within minutes, and now I can take long walks and enjoy myself and be with my family and not feel like I'm going to pass out or anything else. So it's pretty awesome. Maggie, has it changed things for you? Everything. Everything. It's just... It, the same we go out out to the state parks and we just walk around and it's not you don't feel like you're dying you can walk the stairs you you can breathe wow. it's just been amazing and to go from i went from i think my highest weight was 344 pounds and the last time i weighed myself i was down to 188. wow so i mean it's been phenomenal i went from a size 30 down to a size 14. oh wow. my goodness i mean not only do you look different but uh, dr chibli you've been the closest to them through this whole process what other changes have you seen well i mean it really is unbelievable i mean the 
they, they both had their share of comorbidities. Both of them shared the uh, uh, diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea as well as fatty liver disease. And, and, and those are things that we're not going to be concerned about anymore. Maggie was a newly diagnosed type 2 diabetic. She went into remission in the hospital wow. at the time of surgery. Wow. And so, you know, we know that it's not just disease improvement and remission, it's extension of life, improvement in, in, in potential mortality. And, you know, in terms of society, in terms of what we do, it's uh, costs, we say now, cost dominant, not just cost savings for the healthcare system. And it just, it, the financial impact of not just obesity, but all these diseases is quite significant. Yeah. And so it, it's just, it really is uh, an incredible thing to be involved with. And these, these, these are two great people, and, and it's great to know them, and honestly. And it's great. Congratulations. Look at her. We woke her up. She's so cute. Oh, oh. Congratulations, guys. Thank you thank look you. great. And she is wonderful. A miracle. It, it really, really is, is a miracle. That's great. For more information on bariatric surgery, you can find Dr. Shibley on his website. So be sure and look him up. What a beautiful little girl. Thank you, guys. Thank Later you. in the show, we will have some beach items for the whole family.